Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mel, the Hot Mess Express, coming to you live, semi, at 7.38 this morning. Um, take number 15 to 20. Don't know. Lost count. Don't care. All right, so I'm going to show you two things, two very important things in Workplace this morning. Thing number one is going to be, how do I search for something? What do you mean? Well, how do you search for a painter? How do you search for that septic person? How do you search for an attorney? How do I search for the marketing and branding that I'm looking for? Thing number two that I'm going to show you is how you can make something searchable for me or anyone else in Workplace. All right, so this all came about because a few days ago, Reba, or a week ago, Reba said, hey, I need a septic person. And I said, hey, Reba, go look in the vendor group. Not thinking she may not know that it's actually searchable. So here is how you can find something in any group whether it's the vendor, the marketing, the education, the branding, whatever, how you can find something. So we're gonna do it easy and we're gonna go into the vendor group because that's where this all began. On the right left side of the screen, I'm gonna click on vendors. When that page loads, I'm gonna show you two ways to find something. On the right side, make it super simple. Click in the box and I type in painter. And any post or topic that contains painter will be in here. I can also search attorney because I've used them. And anyone that has posted an attorney, whether it's me, whether it's Carol Ann, whether it's Reba, it doesn't matter. Anyone that has posted an attorney, that person will show up here or that post will show up here. The other way to search something inside of a group on the left side of the screen you scroll down there on the right and you can see popular topics. You can click on a specific topic. You can click on the number 16 because that's actually how many topics are in there right nut there. Or you can click on see all topics. Any of those things are gonna take you to this little screen here. These are the different topics that have been assigned. And I'm gonna show you how to assign a topic. You can click on the post under attorney and it'll bring up those four posts that contain attorney. So you, as the user, how do you make search something searchable for me? Whenever you wanna create a post, you know how to do that. You click on the box, painter, I'm not gonna say painter, painter Paul. And I'm gonna say he's also a handyman and here is his phone number for ease of use. Workplace now has topics and you can see right underneath your post it says add topic and then it has also suggested topic. Well, Paul is a painter, so I'm gonna click on that suggested topic, but then I'm gonna add another topic because Paul is also a handyman. He can do those kind of minor little repairs around the place. So I click on add topic and I type in handyman. Click it, it adds that topic. And then I click on post. That will make any post searchable, just adding that topic. You can find that in the branding and the marketing and the business. I click on that group and if you look underneath the post, post or the person who posts, you will see topics there under each of them. And I have gone through all the groups and I have added topics to all the posts. I may have missed one or two, but I did my absolute best to make everything as searchable as possible. But from this point forward, it is up to you, the user, to add a topic or tag if, you, if that's what you want to call it, to the post to make it searchable for everybody on Workplace. So you guys, take number 20, go Gamecocks, even though we're not playing today. Go Ohio State. Oh, hi, oh. How do they do that? Doesn't matter. Anyway, go Ohio. Peace out, peeps. Oh, questions, comments, concerns, call me, 864-940-1690, or mduganbpo at gmail.com, or melanie at jacksonstanley.com, or you can text me, tag me, anything. Contact me if you need help.